Lazarus Koyama. Graduation at the country's highest learning institution was prolonged by the COVID-19 pandemic, but eventually started on Monday, 9th of November. Mary Kiwai. Sleepless nights and restless days paid off for these 1,129 graduates over the last three days. Also be self-employed. The School of Business and Public Policy was the first school to graduate its 398 students on Monday. Day two at two sessions, the School of Humanities and Social Sciences had its 207 students graduating in the morning, while the School of Natural and Physical Sciences in the afternoon with a total of 128 students. After three days of conferring of degrees, the university's 65 graduation ended today with 111 students graduating from the School of Law in the morning and 294 from the School of Medicine and Health Sciences in the afternoon. Much attention was on the graduates, but parents, guardians and friends proudly stood by them as well. They too were part of the journey. I'm feeling very grateful today. Right now, I'm with my daddy, the proudest guy ever. He's the man behind everything. He's the man. For those that sadly passed on, their families were there to receive their mambus. In the case of late Wilma Ayes, in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, a father and two children received their degree. 2020 may have started out tough due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but for these 1,129 graduates and their families, they have ended the year on a high note. Yana Zoyri, National MTV News.